During our trip through Indonesia this summer, we decided to also visit Gili Travangan, a small little island close to Bali. That place is quite well known for its stunning white beaches, plenty of palm trees and crystal clear blue water. But after arriving on Gili Travangan, we realized very quick that the island we have heard of is not the island we are experiencing right now. We found plastic basically everywhere, in the water, on the beach or anywhere else in the nature. These circumstances really shocked us. Our experience on Gili T made us realize even more that we do live in a society where we want to act higher, further and faster every day. We never travel as much as right now, we never consume as much as right now, and we never treated our planet as bad as right now. Gili Travangan might only be a small little island in the Pacific Ocean, but it reflects perfectly what are the effects of our behavior. More than 2,000 tourists arrive on Gili T daily, and when they leave again, their footprints are not the only thing they left. Up to 20 tons of trash are being produced every day, and all of that ends up on a huge dump in the middle of the island. We never really wondered what happens with our trash after throwing it away. It's in our mind that once something leaves our ownership, it's none of our business anymore. But it is. Seeing meter high burning trash holes here on Giliti has been quite shocking for us. And at first sight, it looked like an unsolvable problem. We are more than happy that there are some people who are working really hard to find solutions. A local NGO called Gili Ecotrust made it to their mission to bring back the paradise to the island, starting that by implementing bio-rocks into the oceans first. Later on, Gili Ecotrust also focused on regular beach cleanups to remove all the plastic from the beaches. Because of the increasing number of tourists, Gili Ecotrust more and more had to deal with another issue, the waste. Ten years ago the island had around three swimming pools, now Gili T is counting more than 700. The amount of trash is endless, but Gili Ecotrust is fighting against it with all their power. They started to implement a recycling system where all plastic bottles from the island are being collected, sorted and prepared for the shipment over to Lombok, where they will be recycled properly. Besides plastic bottles, all glass bottles are also being collected, crushed and then reused for the building of special bricks. Houses that are being built with those kind of bricks are more stable in terms of an earthquake. To enhance the recycling system on the island, Kili Ecotrust aims to build new and bigger facilities to run the whole process more efficiently. What we've seen and experienced on Gili Travangan really shocked us. It can be quite depressing to see our planet like that and in the beginning it all looked like an unsolvable situation and we really thought it's all hopeless. But in the end we left the island with a bunch of new inspirations and positive feelings. We got inspired to rethink and change our behaviors. Starting with not using a plastic bottle anymore. 
skipping plastic straws, changing our diary to a vegetarian one, and we also started to implement a recycling system into our daily lives. It is our planet and therefore it's our responsibility to protect this beautiful earth. And that starts with every single one of us. Gilichi was our wake up call to protect this planet. And all we want to do now is to share our experience with you. So please, join us in saving our planet.